Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff. And in today's video lecture, we are going to discuss about weaving ratio. So weaving ratio is a parameter that is used to find out the capacity of rotary and is defined as the ratio of number of weaving traffic. What do we mean by weaving traffic? Weaving traffic means the traffic that is crossing each other. So it is the ratio of number of weaving traffic to total number of traffic in between any two legs of rotary. Let us discuss uh, about this. What does this definition mean? So we have uh, rotary, right? We have discussed about rotary in the previous lectures in detail about the like what is rotary and why, what is the benefit and how we design the rotary. So you can refer to that lecture in it to get to know in detail. All right. So to discuss about weaving ratio, let us first of all again look at the definition. It is the ratio of number of weaving traffic, the traffic that is crossing each other to total number of traffic in between any two legs of rotary. So in a rotary, we have the traffic that is moving in all the directions, right? We have traffic that is coming from here and then going in this direction, going in this direction. Likewise, we have traffic going from here to here, here to here and likewise. Likewise, we have left turn in traffic. So to find out the weaving ratio, what we do is we consider two legs of rotary. Let's say here in this case, we have this is leg number one, this is leg number two, this is leg number three, and this is leg number four. So what we do is uh, we uh, consider any two legs. We move in the clockwise direction and we consider two legs. We can uh, at a time we can consider leg one and two. Then we can consider leg two and three. Then we consider leg three and four, and then we can consider, consider leg four and one, right? Moving in the clockwise direction, we consider the uh, any two legs of the rotary at any point of time. So here, what we do is we find out the overall movement of traffic in between the legs. So there will be some traffic that will be left turning traffic that that is coming from two going to three. There will be traffic that will be coming from 2 but not going to 3 but going to some other leg. Right? There will be traffic that will be going to some other leg of the rotary. In a similar fashion, we may have, uh, there will be traffic that will be coming from the other leg of the rotary and going to the leg number 3. That will be incoming traffic. And then there may be some traffic that is neither coming from 2, neither going to 3. So there will be traffic that will just move in between this section and then go to some other leg. So all the tra movement of traffic in between our study section, our study section is in between leg 2 and 3. All the traffic that is moving in our study, se study section that is considered and in between the traffic that is crossing each, each other and the traffic that is the total traffic that is weaving uh, together is find out and their ratio is what we call as the weaving ratio right the other name of weaving ratio is proportion of weaving section right it is also called as the other name of weaving ratio is Proportion of weaving section. Proportion of weaving section. Okay. So, so if we want to represent this in terms of formula, if we want to represent this in terms of formula, we will take any two legs of the rotary. Right. We will take any two legs of the rotary. Like in this case, we are taking leg two and leg three, right? We are taking leg two and leg three. So this is a section of rotary, just like what we have discussed here, right? If we take, let me clear the image first. If we take this section of rotary, if we take this section of the rotary, this is leg two, this is leg three, this is the section of the rotary or the island. Right, and this is this section of the rotary. That is what we have shown in this figure here. 
so there will be a traffic that is coming from two and going to three right there will be a traffic that is coming from two and going to three so that traffic is represented by alphabet a that traffic is represented by alphabet a there will be a traffic that is coming from two but going to some other leg there will be a traffic that is coming from two coming from two and going to some other leg so that is represented by alphabet b that is represented by alphabet b then again there will be a section of traffic that will be coming from some other leg that will be coming from some other leg and going to going to a uh, leg number 3 there will be traffic that is coming from some other leg and going to leg number 3 that is represented by c right that is represented by alphabet c and then we have a traffic that is neither coming from 2 neither going to 3 so there will be a traffic that is neither coming from 2 nor going to 3 and just moving from this this section of the rotary and that is what we represent by alphabet d got it so we have we have we have alphabet a b c and d that represent the overall movement of the traffic in between the section right so here the weaving ratio is defined as the total weaving traffic in between the study area weaving means the crossing that are They are crossing each other. So if we see C, uh, this traffic B and C are what they are crossing each other. So that will be the traffic, the total traffic that is weaving in between the study area will be B plus C, and the total traffic in the study section is A B C plus D, A plus B plus C plus D. So the weaving ratio is defined as B plus C divided by A plus B plus C plus D. all right okay so let us do one numerical for better understanding let us do one one question the question is that we have to find out the weaving ratio between leg 1 and 2 the traffic volume in tcu per hour is given below so we have the traffic data in between the study section and we have to find out the traffic that is uh, or the weaving ratio between leg 1 and 2 okay so let us solve this question let us solve this question so first of all we will draw the draw the weaving diagram so let's say this is leg 1 this is leg 2 so if we talk about a a is the traffic that is coming from 1 and going to 2 right a is the traffic that is coming from 1 and going to 2 so v12 v12 is 150 tcu per hour v12 is 150 tcu per hour then we have the uh, the parameter b b is the traffic that is coming from 1 and going to some other leg we have b that is coming from one and going to some other leg some other legs that the other legs are leg 3 and leg 4 right so here coming from one and going to 3 coming from one and going to 4 so we have 450 and 412 so b coming from one right coming from one and going to some other legs so we have legs 1 2 3 4 right from the from the from the data that is given to us we can see we can see that we have 1 2 3 4 these are the legs of the rotary so we coming from 1 going to any other leg except 2 so leg 3 coming from 
and going to 4. So V13 and V14, V13 and V14, 450 plus 412. 450 plus 412. Right? Now let's talk about C. Let's talk about C. What is C? C is the traffic that is coming from some other leg and going to leg number 2. Right? C is the traffic that is coming from some other leg and going to leg number 2. That is all the incoming traffic in leg 2 except 1. So, we have C. Other legs are leg, leg number 3 and leg number 4. Right? So, coming from 3 going to 2. Coming from 4 going to 2. So, V32 is 570, V32 is 570 and V42, V42 is 100, V42 is 1080, 1080. Right, now the only parameter that is remaining is D. So, let's talk about what is D. D is all the traffic that is neither coming from 1, neither going to 2. But using this section to move from one leg to another, right. So, here if we see, here if we see that if this is our rotary section, this is our rotary section, this is leg 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, if you see all the right turning traffic, all the right turning traffic, let us say, if we have uh, like 4, from 4 to 3 we have to go, so we have to use our section that, I that is under observation. We are going to use this section and without uh, using this section we cannot go from 4 to 3, right. If we observe here, we can move from 3 to 4 without using this section, right. We can go from 3 to 1 like this. We can go from 3 to 2, but that is not what we desire for. We want to look into the traffic that is moving in between the study section, the traffic that is moving in between the uh, this sec these legs uh, and are neither going or coming from leg 1 and 2. Alright, so the only possibility here is leg 4 and 3. Right, like the traffic movement in between leg 4 and 3. I hope it is clear to you. The only possibility is in between traffic 4 and 3. So, from 4 to 3, this study session will be used. Right, if you see from 3 to 4, this study session is not being used. I hope it is clear, right? Alright, so we 4 to 3 will be the d equals to v 4 3 which is equals to v 4 3 equals to 600 v 4 3 equal to 600 will be the value right i hope it is very well clear if not you can always ask in the comment section so the value of a is 150 pc per hour Value of B is 862, value of C is 1650 and D is 600 and weaving ratio P is B plus C divided by A plus B plus C plus D. So, B plus C will be 862 plus 1650 divided by 150 plus 862 plus 1650 plus 600, right? So, 0 0.77, right? So, the viewing ratio will be, the viewing ratio will be 0 0.77, okay? So, like this, we find out the viewing ratio or uh, proportioning of the traffic, okay? So, I hope the lecture uh, was clear to you, right? If so, uh, do like the video, 
consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this uh, thank you for watching have a nice day